Yes! Yes! Especially for former producer Paul Sheehan, who is um, very much close to our hearts. He's stuck in a toilet at BBC Suffolk at the moment. He tweeted a photograph of himself. If somebody could release him, that would be nice. Uh, he's a colossal idol. I would go as far as to say that he's a stalker. Yeah, just a bit. At what point does it become stalking? Where you, I go to every gig. And sometimes I find out if they're at a gig... And somebody tweets t tweets me and says that Joe Joe Talbot's at this gig, and then I go to that gig and I stand next to him at the bar. That's a little bit creepy, but Paul does that kind of thing because he loves them that much. That's Paul Sheehan, ladies and gentlemen. That was Idols with Samaritans, and before that, it was Block Party and Banquet. Well, I think you did. A, I think you did a very good job of keeping it together, then, considering what just what's just happened. Yeah, um, and thanks for. Uh, Pointing that out, apparently there's some ambience uh, on this microphone here. We are now joined by uh, a studio audience. Um, some of the lucky few... <laughs> how was, to, an, how underwhelmed, was that? an underwhelmed 41 people <laughs> who are just thinking, <laughs> you do what you do this every morning, you get up and out. Um, can you all, at the count of three, can you all shout your name at the same time? One, two, three. <laughs> so I hope that's clear. Uh, each and every one of them have had a shout out on live radio now, so we're clear. We've covered we do that have off. to mention them again. Please, uh, Fire Warden Phil Smith, please do not swear. I have to say that. All right? No nope. swearing. Whatever you do, you're in the dead zone. Good. Nobody listens to the dead zone. Everybody knows that. Um, audience listener figures suggested uh, back in 2017 that this was the point of the show where everybody completely lost interest and um, even these guys who are in the studio aren't listening they're checking their phones a couple of them have got books uh, but we prefer to get out of that and into the Hawaiian bed link uh, this is such desperate self-regard this whole broadcast isn't it Matt desperate self-regard why stop yeah my uncle Martin's stuck outside. He's on the pavement at Maida Vale. Why is that? Because you forgot to put him on the guest list. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's true. Oh, oh he's in! Hey, he's hey, in, hey, ladies hey. and gentlemen. After three, can we have a hello arms? One, two, three. Hello, hello arms! Look at that. Absolutely phenomenal. The power I wield in this place. Uh, just a few bits and bobs and missives. Uh, Andy says, Ben writes peace was the best written skit that you've ever had on your otherwise low-achieving programme. Th those are my words, by the way. Thank you so much to Ben Wright for delivering them. Even better than Brexit's being delivered at the moment. Uh, we're well done for saving the best till last. Good luck and a jolly holiday. Andy ha in Haddenham. And we had John Craven on just then. John Craven, how ladies and gentlemen. Phil, how, how did you get hold of John Craven? Um, I didn't do it, actually. Uh, our good friend Sam did it. Thank oh, thank you, Sam, you, Sam Singh. Yeah. I can't. I would love to take the credit, but I didn't do any of that work. <laughs> Does he? Do you have to sort of track it? Is he in the countryside all the time? I've got a okay. Yeah. You stalked him. <laughs> snared. Yeah, snared him. I, I think he probably lives in a set, like a badger, doesn't he? <laughs> That's it. You just have to tap the ground like that, and he yeah. comes snuffling out. Here he is. <laughs> yes. Absolutely lost it. It's brilliant. That's exactly how I feel right now. I mean, the animal sounds are just around the corner. Guttural animal sounds. And so for the last three links, he just did guttural animal sounds <laughs> for two and a half minutes. It was very frightening. And then we threw a wet towel over him and gaffer taped him and put him in the back of the ambulance. We thought he was going to do an emotional goodbye to the listeners, but he just made the sound of a baboon. <laughs> Pencils up his nose, underpants <laughs> on his head. Actually, uh, you know, speaking of uh, encanting the great Blackadder, we must at this juncture also have a... Bravo! Uh, morning show for the last ever time before 8am. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> oh, there, there's a clock next to me, Ed. Uh, 8.13, so a bit late. Uh, can you play the fart sound bite for my wife, Friday Flatulence? Will, honestly, he's so childish. I mean, is this what my career has come to? Playing fart sounds off a cart wall. Is that all I'm good for? Is this it? 
the man who did the rustling papers and the fart sounds is dead. Is that what they're going to say on the BBC ticker website in 44 years when I go? Spill your name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, very, very sad to say that Seam Cavini has died. <laughs> Why are we talking about death on a breakfast show? It's one of the many reasons why we do have upwards of 90 listeners in the dead zone. Having spent the last four years in retirement, I haven't needed to listen to you in the mornings, instead preferring to hear your delights on catch-up at a more sociable, acceptable hour. But as this is your last breakfast show, I made an effort and set the alarm, and I'm now listening to you with a cup of tea and bags under my arms. Please make it all worthwhile. Janine and her dad would be most welcome. So Pete and Ashford and Ken. Yeah, Dad, whatever. Like, I've got Peter from Blackman Motorcycle Club staying on the couch tonight. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, bloody hot. Yeah, bloody hot. I'll tell you that, but not that he's not fashioning the threshold. He is, Dad, and that's that. Oh, yet another to-do between Janine and her dad. It is utter nonsense. You're absolutely right. One of my favourite tunes. Stereo MCs now, deep down and dirty. And then we've got a live last of this year, Small Claims Court. The absolute potty mouths off air here with this lot. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Filth. 
coming out of these people's mouths. It's a broadcast studio. Have some respect. That was me, actually. Uh, deep down and dirty by the stereo and the seeds there. Um, it won't go in, Sarah. No, that's disgusting. Um, just be doing things like that, really. Mostly this morning. Uh, big big ups to another great uh, Fallen producer. We've broken so many, haven't we, Matt, over the years? We've broken, broken about seven permanent producers and about 73 non-permanent producers. Left people in tatters, this job has. We count them in. We count them out. But, you know... They come in, in in love and they go out in boxes. Except for our Phil. Except for our Phil. The last man standing. <laughs> uh, and it, it, we just received this missive from Ben Walker, who says, Finally, this self-indulgent nonsense is over. Dear BBC, please bring back Jupiter's from the cold. We've had it. We've waited long enough. <laughs> I've finally run out of Buzzcocks episodes to rewatch. Now the My thing good is, friend Ben Walker, though. Is, he, he hates this show. I'm about to say, one of my best friends. He hates it. He never listens to it. That's not ironic. I think he does actually. He hates it. Yeah. He thinks it's utter nonsense. My brother doesn't even listen. His brother, Dave, is a a musical genius and he's written a song that I hope I hope we get to play. If we've not got it, we'll I will have to play it in the afternoon show out of context. It's so good. But it's a song about how I always used to say that I listened, but I never really listened. And I'm really sorry about that. Uh, But I listened to the last one. It's quite catchy. He's not listening. (laughs) He won't won't hear it. If a tree falls, dot dot dot. Any chance of one final Kevin Webster impersonation for Adam and Neil in Newcastle, or even Stefan Dennis? Ah, you see, Friday can't continue without... How do I miss that? Because I'm completely irresponsibly unprofessional. Here you go, what about this? Yeah! That is for Adam in Newcastle. No, we can... can we have a round of applause for Stefan Dennis, please? What a... What a man. You know what I mean? Still on Neighbours after 45 years. Incredible, incredible scenes. Um, what else is coming up? Well, apart from anything else, we must also remember to mention the fact that there is a festive feel here. We are festooned with uh, with garlands, with flowers, and banners, uh, ticker tape, and fairy lights. Because it is Christmas, ladies and gentlemen, and it is the all-day Christmas party here at the BBC Red Red Studios. And all day, we're going... What are you looking at? There's no Christmas decorations anyway. <laughs> trying to paint a bloody picture here, mate. I mean, there's some bunting, but this, I would... This is the magic of radio. I, I they don't have to know that. I wouldn't call bunting seasonal. I'd say it's more a summer decor. Oh, someone's got... Yay! Look at, got... That, look at that blinking branch in the corner. There we go. And someone's got some Rudolph ears. There you go. Sarah's got some Rudolph ears on. <laughs> Honestly, here's me. Working away at the cold face of radio, trying to paint a picture, and he's just... But his big black marks all over it. Just saying, you've got to be accurate. Hashtag to just saying. Do I have to move on? Yeah, please. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Small. Ah, 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 claims. Court. It's time for Small Claims Court. Um, the most vaunted and celebrated radio feature in the world. Uh, the New York Times Radio Awards winner, five. Five gongs in five years, beating just a minute and uh, everything else into a cocked hat. For the last time in 2019, we are here with a live, ladies and gentlemen, Small Claims Court. If you've ever heard a brush with fame or hear about it in the Small Claims Court, perhaps you got locked in a toilet with three members of Devo. And it took, uh, it took the, the, the burliest one uh, to have to kick it open for you to get out. That's the kind of story I want to hear in the Small Claims Court with as famous a claim. And in the witness stand today, it is Victoria Hogg. And she's in my eye line. The first time this has ever happened. Victoria, what is your claim to fame? Well, back in 2011, I stood in to run some ad hoc entertainment for a children's party that Sean Keaveney and his oldest son were at. <gasps> The next day on his breakfast show, Sean mentioned how well I'd done to step in and even mentioned me by name. I've heard he's a really nice guy. <laughs> Small claims court, Sean Keeney's a really nice guy special. Thank you so much, Victoria, for that. You're welcome. That, that was brilliant. She didn't swear or nothing.
like a rainbow, you know you set me free. And I just can't get enough, and I just can't get enough. You're like an angel. Take time on the bottom of the toilet and it the off. We on? Yes. Absolutely sensational stuff from Cat Power, you get. Uh, up north, that's, uh, that's a totally different inflection. You get. You get. I don't think that's what she's going for in that song. No. You get. You've not brought me drill back. You get. That kind of vibe. Um... Ladies and gentlemen, we, we are here in the legendary Maidaville studios. It is, we're halfway through the dead zone. We're halfway through the last ever breakfast show for us here on BBC Radio 6 Music for Warming to the Afternoons. It's the start of the old day uh, Christmas party. After three, can I have an it's not working, mate, please? One, two, three. It's not working, mate. It's not working, mate. Um, that's absolutely actually isn't weirdly enough. This uh, one of these cart walls has gone down. Um, very soon, we've got more special guests for you. Uh, keep your missives coming in on 64046. But right now, it is time for the news of James. Six Music. This is BBC Radio. Six Music. Theresa May has been accused of not clearly setting out her demands for Brexit at a meeting with EU leaders in Brussels last night. The EU has insisted it doesn't want to keep the UK tied to their rules indefinitely through the so-called backstop for Ireland. But any renegotiation of the withdrawal agreement was ruled out. Our correspondent Adam Fleming says officials were left baffled as to what Mrs May wanted. You talk to diplomats about last night and they say there was not lots of specific requests from the UK. EU leaders were scratching scratching their heads, wondering what Theresa May can actually do to get the deal through Parliament. The word that lots of diplomats have been using with me this morning is that it was bad. Ofcom is considering forcing broadband providers to tell customers when their contracts are up so they can shop around for better deals. The regulator says millions of homes across the UK could get faster coverage for the same or less money. President Macron has thanked the French police for their efforts hunting down the gunman who killed three people at a Christmas market in Strasbourg. Sharif Shikat was shot in an exchange with a police patrol in the city. The British Army has failed to meet its recruitment target for every year since 2012. A report by the government spending watchdog, the National Audit Office, found this coincided with the decision to hand the responsibility for enrolment over to the private company Capita. David Dimbleby received a standing ovation from the audience and panel on Question Time on BBC One last night as he finished his last episode as host after 25 years. He said he was off in search of new pastures and thanked the audiences. I just want to say thank you all, our audiences, both at home and here in the studios very much. From me, a happy Christmas and not goodbye, but good night. And the weather, a cold and frosty start, but it'll be dry and bright for most. And that's the six music news, the next updates at nine. This is BBC Radio Six Music. Now on BBC Sounds. Six Music. BBC Sounds.
I was looking at other stuff, more interesting things on the. Uh, are you on? Are you, his Magic FM website. You're not on ASOS. <laughs> I was. Li- he's not. He's on ASOS again. I was. He's just constantly buying shoes. I was listening to Magic FM this morning, actually. 100% Christmas breakfast show. That's do, what they're billed as. Do they know it's Christmas? They played that twice in half an hour. Drive, and I thought. Driving home for Christmas? Yep. I thought that's an improvement on what we normally do. Mm-hmm. Driving home. I've got it here somewhere. Go on. Driving home for Christmas. Oh, got, uh, Chris the Hawk Hawkins is Wake here. Wake up and make love with me. Mark, Mark King of number 42 is here. Yay! Our kid's here. Hey! It's, that, it's just such an auspicious moment, isn't it? Look, look at this, though. We, we have Wake got, up. There he is again. Let's have a bit of... We're not going to play it. Oh. Because this is not... All Day Christmas with Mellow Magic. Oh, yeah. I'm going for that job, aren't I? Yeah, you are. I'm so going for it. Job. Coming up, tickets to see Michael Bublé in Vegas. But now, it's Chris Rea with Driving Home for Christmas. Oh. No, we can't be enjoying ourselves. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Um, I can't help... This is from Gary. We, I mean, we, we have the listeners here in the audience... Dead Zone, not dead today. At least 17 people in here today. Which is an improvement of three listeners on yesterday's Dead Zone. It's got a weak pulse. I can't help but think that you've missed a trick here, says Gary. If you're trying to generate a party atmosphere, surely you should have invited Dirk and Jürgen over to host. We were going to get them on the ISDN, though, weren't we? But we, can we get the ISDN in here? We spent all the budget on the bunting. <laughs> what is bunting? It's a fire hazard as well, fire up, fire warden Phil. Uh, everybody's very excited to see Fire Warden Phil's uh, Bucket of Wet Sand, which uh, will uh, is trending on Twitter at the moment. Uh, hashtag Phil's Bucket of Wet Sand. Uh, Gary says, anyway, you're doing an average job of it as per any chance of a final orange van of positivity link. Uh, I'll miss that feature at least. OK. Um, there used to be an orange van that was parked on Hallam Street, uh, which is adjacent to Wogan House, every single day for about five years. There's a funny knocking, isn't there? I think it might be uh, my inner voice. Sean, you're an idiot. Stop saying that. Um, and then all of a sudden it disappeared about uh, three months ago. And we found out that they thought it, because it had been parked there for so long, they thought it, there might be a bomb in it. So they dismantled it completely. So it's not a particularly a positive orange van anymore because it's in bits on some uh, policeman's floor. But I thought actually what we should do here, we'll save the orange van of positivity for a bit later on because... Because we've actually got an audience for the first one of one of the first times ever, we don't get to do this very often. I thought, actually, Matt, it's a great day. Oh, it's a wonderful day. It's a, hey. it's a wonderful day. It's the greatest day, ladies and gentlemen. It's the greatest day ever, isn't it? It's so great. It's the greatest day. <laughs> you started to do that now. Go outside. I'm up like that. 
Um, so I thought, well, no, we've got an audience here. What better thing to do at this point, at this juncture, that overused <laughs> word on this breakfast show, than to encant the boys themselves and actually have a very special sing-along. Here they are. Hi there, I'm Gary Barlow. Gary Barlow. Hello there, I'm Mark Owen. Hello, I'm Howard Donald. Sean and Matt, Come on, we everybody. think it's time for a Greatest Day moment. The world goes alive, and the world goes alive, and the world comes alive. Oh, oh, it's producing. Oh, stay close to me. And the world Watch the world come alive tonight. Stay close to me. Beautiful voice, guys. <laughs> one of the most exciting independent record labels for jazz, electronic music and anything in between. Celebrating an innovative record label. And still maintains the highest standard coming out of California. This is Giles Peterson. 
To mark 10 years of Brain Feeder, I'm joined by two of their leading artists for a very special label focused takeover. It's founder, Flying Lotus, and previous Six Music Album of the Year winner, Thundercat. This music is like a time lapse that I can see in my mind. Giles Peterson with Thundercat and Flying Lotus. Celebrating the 10th anniversary of Brain Feeder this Saturday afternoon from 3 on BBC Radio Six, Six Music. music. Your couch and brick change. They don't know my story, but I bet they know my name. Bet they knew my sin way before they knew my face. But I'd rather chase money than a story these days. Read all about, re read all about it. Made it from the rubble through the struggle to the mountains. Now I'm looking down at all the reasons why I doubt it. Almost lost my way for a second, but I found it. Almost lost my way, but the most is with the game. Almost lost my brother, he got able with the game. Still can't feel my lungs, but I'm in love with Mary Jane. Now I see the glass on different kinds of paper planes. Ah, never worked it out, they stay the same. I'm different. Got a new smile, got a new spirit, got a new heart. I'm lifted. Got them bad vibes. Someone get my mama on the phone, she don't have to miss me. Saving God the love I get for you, I go juice them with me. Night I found my lowest, I get no one, I get demons with me. Now I run the jungle with my pride, I go Simba's with me. I know they've been plotting all my angels, but them shots can't put dents in my halo. Save a penny, save a pound, save a peso. Hit the border for the lay low. Before I lay my crown, hope I go to make a queen. Royal from the soil, throwing stones don't make a king. Right? Pray I don't fool pray to find a thing, Even when my back against the ring, Never worked this hard to stay the same, I'm different. Got a new smile, got a new spirit, got a new heart, I'm lifted. Tell them bad back in the distance. Tell them bad back in the distance. Someone get my city. It's like Tron. It's like Tron, Jeff. It's like Tron in it. It's like the bloody future, mate. Were you just distributing your buns earlier? I was distributing my buns. I was, uh, you know, I'm not saying I'm like Jesus. Right. That wasn't what I said. No. Because you're on dangerous territory, even as a lapsed Catholic, you're on thin ice there. I'm not saying that. There isn't 5,000 people. We haven't got 5,000 listeners to feed. <laughs> Out in the whole of Listenerville. So we've only about 23. I think we've, the, the, the numbers have swelled to 23 now, but uh, Fergus very kindly brought some baked goods and I have been tossing my buns all over the place. <laughs> I've also accidentally squirted some WD-40 on the floor, which is now a slip hazard, for which I apologise. Who brought me the, the WD? Can you just name yourself? Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie, thank you so much. It's lovely to have you with us. And we've got Tony Locksmith Carter live in the studio, ladies and gentlemen. Here we have a huge round of applause for Tony. But, uh, he's, he's done me a T-shirt. Can look. you read out what it says? It's, this is for the new, <laughs> the new slot. It's, this is to do with the new slot. Filling the gap between Marianne Hobbs and Lamac. <laughs> Perfect. <sighs> it's just, re just that realisation that you get, that, you, you know, it's not, you're, not, you're not William Makepeace Thackeray. You know, you're not, Will you're not William Shakespeare. You're not William Shatner, mate. You're just a guy who stops the, the, the broadcast going off onto emergency tape. You're just a person who makes noise between two other bits of noise. That's what we do. It's a horrible realisation. That's what it is. But we love it. I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've got a new feature coming up in the new show called Mark Gardiner's Question Time. Yeah, I haven't sent the email yet. Oh, does he not know yet? <laughs> 
Hashtag Ox. If you're listening, Mark, drop us a line. Tell us if you're up for it. It's fifty pound a go you get for that. Don't say that. <laughs> oh yeah, Mark Garden is question time, is it? Ah, tell you what, I'll break a snooker queue over your back if you come anywhere near my garden. I'll tell you that for nothing. Um, I'm going to miss Evil Alan Titchmarsh. Do you remember that time when he came in? He's such a legendary fellow, and uh, he came in to, in to be interviewed by me, and I was having one of my off days. Yeah. <laughs> because they don't notice that... Uh, they don't, I don't think they notice when I have my off days, do you? Just uh, sweetness and light every single morning. And uh, I got to the end of the interview, and I was quite nervous all the way through. I made a real hash of it, and at the end I said... Uh, thank you very much indeed, Alan Partridge. <laughs> and he looked like he was going to snap a, a, a trowel over me head then as well. Uh, no, very, very shortly, we are going to play a song now, and then up to the news. I often talk about the future. The future! What Please. does it hold in 2019? The future! I don't really know, but I know a man who does. Clinton Baptiste, ladies and gentlemen. Is going to be here to tell me what our future holds in 2019. For our wrap up, let's give it everything we've got. Ready? Begin. Artificial amateurs aren't it all amazing. Analytically, I assault animate things. Broken barriers bounded by the bomb beat. Buildings are broken, basically I'm bombarding. Casually create catastrophes, casualties canceling. Cats got the canopies collapsing. Detonate a diamond tank daily doing dope. Demonstrations, Don Dada on the down low. Eating other editors with each and every energetic. Epileptic episode, elevated etiquette. Furious, fat, fabulous, fantastic. Flurries of funk felt feeding the fanatics gift got great global goods gone glorious getting godly in this game with the glorious hit him high hella hype historic old hey holocaust hymns hear him holler at your homeboy imitators idolize i intimidate in an instant i'll rise in an irate state juiced on my jams like jerry curls jocking joints justly it's just me writing my journals kindly i'm kindling all kinds of king kong karate kick type writs in my kingdom let me live along like lyrically lessons is learned lame louses just lose to my leverage my mind makes marvelous moves masses Marvel and move, many mock what I passed it. Snap, knowing I'm nice, naturally. Knack, never lack, make noise, naturally. Operation, opposition, off, not optional. Out of sight, out of mind, widening opticals, perfected poems. Powerful punchlines, pummeling, petty powder puffs in my primes. Quite quaint close, keep quiet as quantum. Quarrelers ain't got a quarter of a we gotta. Really raw raps, rising up rapidly, riding the rushing radio activity. Super scientific, old sound, search thought. Silencing, stupefy saps that are soft. Tales ten times talented, too tough. Take that, challengers, get a tune up. Universe. Unique, untouched, unadulterated, the raw, uncut, bird by smart, victorious, valid, violate vibes that are vain, make them vanish. While I'm all well, what a wise word, Smith just weaving up words, weeded up on my work shift, Xerox, my X radiation glows, extra large, X height letters, it's xylophone tones, yellow back, yak mouth, young ones yawn, yesterday's lawn yard, cell I yawn, zigzag zombies, zoom into the scene, of zero wins and thoughts over cells, rhyme, Z lot. Absolutely sensational and wonderful, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we are here. It is the old day. Christmas party, ladies and gentlemen, and we have 23 rabid BBC Radio 6 music listeners here in MV7. The great and the good are here, and uh, a few people who snuck under the radar. We don't know quite how they did, but let me tell you this. We are living in uncertain times. I'm going to sit down if you don't mind. We, could, we couldn't be living in more uncertain times. What with world events as they are. This, I'm a completely uh, non-partisan uh, observer, of course, working at the BBC. I certainly wouldn't be given to any political statements at this juncture. That would be foolish, because Phil would be sacked. But it is, it is uncertain times out there. The, 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 the very foundations on which we place our feet daily are crumbling. Institutions, breakfast programmes, it's all going off. In 2019, what will become of us, of Matt Everett, of Phil Smith, of Zara Blaney, of Sean Keaveney. What is gonna come of this show, of these people, here to tell us from Phoenix Nights, from some of the greatest working men's clubs of the Northwest, it is clairvoyant, medium, futurologist and psychic, Clinton Baptiste. Good morning, Clinton. Good morning, child. <laughs> nice to... Nice to be here today. Sorry I was a little bit late. Yes, you were I a bit can late. 
predict all sorts of things, 2019 and beyond, but the traffic on the A406 was... <laughs> Little bit of a challenge this morning, yeah. <laughs> Sean. I, I'm getting an aura. Okay. I can I can pick up I'm really picking up your asana. And what I I think it's the studio lights, but the thing what I'll say is this. I've got someone here. <laughs> it alright, my love. She, she, no, it's it's a man or a woman. Is that ringing any bells? Yes, I do, yeah, that's, this, is, this is spooky already. And this person, they say, all right, my love, she, this, this lady, please, she's saying to me, please, she's saying that there's so many, as you say, there's so many terrible things in the world, aren't there? <laughs> Terrorism, war, <laughs> famine, Greg Wallace. And, <laughs> but what we have to do is be positive about the future. And I've got some wonderful predictions about you. Oh, okay. I'm saying, I don't know why I'm saying this. I've got Something that's saying you're leaving a job. Oh, yeah. Yes. You're leaving yes. a job. Yes. You're on it. And I've got a feeling I'm seeing figures, a lot of figures, yes. a lot of figures declining, go disappearing oh, yeah, gradually. The... Does the word rage jar mean anything <laughs> to you? Because yeah, if it doesn't, okay. you do need to think about that right. a little bit more. What I'm getting here, Sean, what I'm getting here is your job is moving yes. to late morning. No. It's in the evening. No. It's late at night. It's, um, no, no. Early afternoon. Yes. It's yes. sort of early yes. afternoon. Yes. It's early afternoon. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. It's, 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 a t it's a gift, what I've got. And I'm just saying to you that things will go very, very well. That's oh, all I want you to know. Fabulous. At, at this stage. I'm getting... Someone singing happy birthday. Is your birthday, am I correct? June has it been your birthday? It has been, It will yes. be your birthday it at some point yes, this year. it has been, yeah, and it will be again, That's I think. That's correct. I've got, I've got a name, Wilf. It's coming. Is it, yeah. Is it his yeah. Bir birthday. It's, it, it's, it's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that's coming up. And that's we this weekend. It is, is that correct. That's incredible. He's got friends coming over, and they're going to be very, very excited. Yeah. yeah. To be in the presence of a major celebrity. Oh. Have we got one coming over? <laughs> or... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I suppose Mark. King all these predictions, that, but you know, I, I, all I'm saying is it's going to go very, very well for you. You really think so, Clinton? I do think so, and you know, I mean, I do have my doubters. I know that a lot of these people here are quite cynical, but I am fully accredited from the Third Parallel College of the Supernatural America with a genuine certificate off of the internet signed by Arthur C. Clarke, uh, and it's got a proper hologram of a skull on it and everything. So, you know, it's legit what I do. And there are a lot of doubters, a lot of doubters. You've got a mobile phone, am I correct? I, yeah, I've not even got it out. Have you know that? Is there a 07 in the number? There is a 07. Don't say any more. 079. Is there a 2, 3 or a 5 there in the number? There is a 2 in it. This yeah. is getting weird there, there, now, and it's getting two, a bit close to the knuckle, actually. There's not a double 6 in the middle, is there? No. That's correct. There yeah. is not a double 6 <laughs> This is in the middle. It's a gift what I've got, <laughs> and I'm getting a name for you. It's, it's your mother's name. Does it begin with a B? C. Not a B. F. Not is really. It G? It's closer. a K. The, the surname. I'm getting an K. M. Not, M. It's, a, not it's really. an O. There's an O in a, in a maiden yeah, that's name. That's right. There's, there's an O, a, in, a there's an o name. in her maiden there's, name. The maiden that's, name starts with an O. I that think is, that's what I'm. I think that's what I'm getting. She I'm worked getting in shivers. A, she worked in the health service. Accountant. Is it the council? <laughs> the council. It was yes, a shop. the council. The council. Yeah, it is a gift, and it's something that I've been been blessed with. So thank you for that. I, I don't know what to say. I, I just I feel emboldened going into 2019 now because I can you see. said that you know that it's all going to go well and yeah. that, about the part from the Ray Jar figures thing. Yeah. But every, I mean that, that's something we can deal with. Yeah. But, well, uh, you know, I use my talents, people in all walks of life, lawyers, <laughs> politicians, world leaders. International celebrities, you, all the way down to normal, everyday, nobody type people like we've got in the studio. You know. it, it's absolutely, and you're a man. Of, that's it. You're a man of the people, and you've got that common touch. I'm giving. You are very I'm giving. giving. That's it. And, yes. and, and you are, and, and people can see Clinton Baptiste live in 2019. I can say that about the future as well. Yes, I think, please do. I? You can say yeah, that. I can. I'm doing a number of gigs around the place, and I'm planning to tour at some point. But more than ever, more than anything, the spirits are telling me to tell you this. Yeah, okay. I do have a podcast out that's oh. doing very, very well. Right, okay. <laughs> Clinton Baptiste Paranormal Podcast. And it's Technically an absolute not sensation. Allowed to talk about that oh, on I the beg BBC. your pardon. I, mean, you know, I do beg your pardon. Clinton Baptiste Parallel. Uh, pa 
What I can't remember what it's called myself now. <laughs> Paranormal. <laughs> Paranormal podcast. And it's riding high in the iTunes. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> it's doing ever so well by ACAS. Well, they, I can't, oh, but I mean... it's a great success. It really is. It's, it's literally like it's a portal into the future. Yes. The future. The future. Which we now all know, thanks to Clinton Baptiste. Thank you. Don't ever forget the name. It's written on your cortex forever. Can we have a colossal round of applause? Thank you. Thank you so much. For a man Please. who tells us how it is going Spirits to be. Spirits fading. Spirits fading now. And uh, can you predict if we're going to be going to the news anytime soon? Because everything's a bit up in the air at the uh, moment. Well, judging by the lack of action around this desk, I don't know. Uh, I think, uh, yes, I think the news is co- I'm feeling the yeah. news coming. Oh, I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. Six music. This is BBC Radio. Six music. BBC News at nine o'clock. I'm James Kelly. EU leaders have said that the Prime Minister was not really clear in her Brexit demands at a summit last night. Theresa May had returned to Brussels to seek legal assurances that the Northern Ireland backstop could not be enforced indefinitely. Broadband providers could be forced to let customers know when their contract is up under plans being drawn up by the communications regulator Ofcom. Officials hope this would help millions of people access faster internet. A former British soldier from Leeds who was convicted in Turkey of being a member of a terrorist organisation has made a secret return to the UK. Joe Robinson, who had been facing seven and a half years in jail, said he left without permission in a bid to regain his human rights. The private company Capita has failed to meet any of its recruitment targets from the army since being put in charge of the process six years ago. A report by the National Audit Office found there was a recruitment shortfall of 7,000 service personnel last year alone. And the weather? After a cold start, it'll be dry, bright and sunny for most. That's the Six Music News. The next update's at 9.30. Six Music. Six Music. music. BBC Radio Six Music. Six Music. Hi, Sean, it's Kate. Good luck with your next show. I'm going to miss my hour. I'm going to miss you. Uh, Merry Christmas. You can save me.